played for the Rockets. James Harden. James Carson? Harden. Harden? James Harden's car. This is what I wanted to see. Hubcaps. Four speed. GTA 350, 66, 67 maybe. Four speed car. Chevy. Old Ford Country Stand Station Wagon with a circle. Has the board. This one and he's like, hey, you know, I, I, you know, he brought some over me to look at it. I see, I bring it, you know, bring it by. So we know that I picked it up, brought it over here, and he said, what do you think? I said, I need to see underneath it. So I put it up on the lift, and I said, dude, that's the only better stuff than this. I'm not trying to piss you off. So what do you got? It's a 12 grand. Had no title. It had some junky motor. You know, the people start putting 460s and stuff, and they said, I had to cut the frame. Uh -huh. and all that shit to get it in there. 
Well, um, so we discussed it, and he said, you know what, I'm going to get one of them uh, primed from um, the rod shop, you know, so he bought me big money, you know, motor, coyote deal, the you know, big disc brakes and the whole nine yards, so we're waiting for it to come in, and then we got to take it and cut the wheel wheels out and cut the damn frame, the floorboard out all the way around, let it drop and hit the ground, then we'll set this down over that frame. A lot of work. Yeah. He said, you know, I don't, you know, I expect this to be like 200 and 350,000. I said, you're about right. I mean, trying to make this that car. I mean, that last one that did at Barrett Jackson brought $700,000. But you know, a lot of times when, when you're working on a car, if it's a passion project for you, mm -hmm. you almost don't care what and the owner. As long as it's for the owner, it's going to be a passion for me. I mean, because right, it's, right. it's going to need a lot of time, you know, so. But, you know, as, as far as coming from uh, an owner's perspective, right. you know, that was grandma's car sure. or, you know, I grew up, you know, this was mom and dad's car and right. I grew up in a car just like it. Exactly. And I don't care what it costs. Exactly. I want that experience. That's it. Again. And, and, and now, I mean, we get, we get that kind of people that can afford that because, you know, we talk about these Lincolns, dude. We're not cheap about none of this shit. Right, I mean, right. This guy probably got 200 in this one, you know. That's but, a beautiful car. Oh, yeah. You know, there's like a, a real movement in the, the hot rod classic car industry where there's a big bunch of them where they're they're kind of the purists and they're like oh it's an ls motor. oh no oh, no, no you, you gotta have a knife and just cut yeah. it in the middle because you can't get the other one to convert to the other one and i'm just the passion of the car for me i mean like me, I, said, I don't care i don't care as long as you're into cars yeah. that's cool with me yeah like, like i told everybody when that girl you, know, you go to the parade and the girl sitting on there doing this wow elvis presley's lincoln yeah. Who did? Uh, Vernon Presley. Record. Really? And that's why it's got that Earl Shy paint job on it. You know, so uh, it, it normally, I think originally it was like a gunmetal color. Huh. But it's, uh, yeah, it's just one of the colors that set the museum for a long time. I got the plaques and everything that came with it. They were saying it was his favorite car because uh, everybody expected to be driving something with a bunch of bling and flashy colors. He could actually go rolling this thing and no one recognized it. Uh, right, right. Got pictures of uh, Memphis Auto 76. The sticker on it. Got a road. What's it say on it? It says Memphis Auto 76. Wow. And then a city made for people. I'm guessing, I'm not sure. That's also Memphis or what? Ha, huh, that's cool. Yeah, so it's dirty and bulky, but you know, when, well, you, do start, when you do repaint it, it kind of takes the value away. Right. First thing I did was look underneath the seats and find a big old Elvis ring or something in there. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> nice Rolex watch or something. something. Yeah. Some lady come up and said, you anything to sit in that car. I said, for 150 bucks, I'll let you sleep in it overnight. <laughs> you have to be out at midnight. <laughs> I like the shop. Yeah, we're about to undercoat that one and then uh, get all the, the uh, full length suspension up underneath it. Put a couple places on there, underneath the back. It's kind of screwed up. He bought this one out of California and, the, you know, they, I don't know, had some bogus ass air ride in there. So he bought a, a devious kit for it or a chopping block. That's what I'm doing to my uh, my 64 Riviera is putting air ride on it. Cool, cool. So it's gonna go right into the weeds. Sure. Hell yeah, yeah just, just watch out for the pinion angle. <laughs> I've got, uh, I'm doing a BC Fab kit. I bought a BC Fab kit for mm -hmm. it. Cool. And it comes with everything. Every cool. Good deal. Even yeah. comes, they even, they even sent me uh, pre stamped or pre cut out uh, tabs to move my shocks and oh, yeah, everything yeah yeah good good make sure you get the right length and everything yep 